Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can start importing photos or other images into GIMP so that we can start editing them inside of the program. So there's a few different ways you can do this. The quickest way to bring in your first image is to have GIMP open, as we do here. And then if you have an image on your desktop or in the file explorer, like here, you can left click and hold on one of those images and drag them into the application. Now this will only work if you don't have any active images open at the moment. So this only works for the first image or series of image, but if we drop it in, it's immediately gonna load that image into GIMP and it's going to put it on its own layer over here on the right. So we'll be able to start working with that single image. Now, if we wanna bring in multiple images at once, we would select all of those by left click and dragging until we get a box over the images on our desktop or the images in our folder using the file explorer. Then we can drag those in uh, the same way and it's gonna load up one different document for each of the images we load into GIMP. So that's how you can do a quick mass import. Now let's say that you already have a couple open documents and you need another way to do it. Well. One way you can load up an additional image, and I'll do it by closing that one out there, is you can right click on an image anywhere on your desktop or file explorer, go down to open with, and choose GNU image manipulation program. Or if you do not see GNU image manipulation program or GIMP, you can come down here to choose another app where you'll be able to select uh, GIMP from the list of programs on your computer. But if we choose open with GIMP, it's gonna take that image and it's gonna load it in here as another photo we can edit, even though we already have a few open, that method still works. Another option we have is to actually just use the file menu. So if we go open to file open, and then we find the location on our computer where the images are stored, uh, we can select that image and just click open. And now it's gonna import that image once again. So that's three ways you can load in images or photos into GIMP to start editing them. I've been Chris. I hope this video has helped some of you guys out there getting started with GIMP. And I will see you guys in my future video content.